The, the third common um, problem associated with the heart is what is called atrial fibrillation. Age is one of the common risks involved in atrial fibrillation, the other being uh, hypertension. So we tend to see atrial fibrillation in the elderly patients with high blood pressure. So what does atrial fibrillation mean? Essentially it is a problem with the heart rhythm itself. Um, all of us have a heart rhythm that is pretty regular, um, what is called sinus rhythm. And so the heart beats in a regular fashion at a certain number of beats per minute. Um, in atrial fibrillation, what happens is this whole regularity actually um, is disrupted. So the whole heart rhythm becomes very chaotic. There is no rhythm to it. The, the whole heart becomes sometimes very fast. Um, it beats very rapidly in a very irregular fashion. Now the problem with atrial fibrillation is that this irregularity in rhythm actually um, impairs the ability of the heart to pump blood well to the rest of the body. Um, the other problem with atrial fibrillation is that the heart, because it's pumping irregularly, there's a very high tendency for blood clots to form within the heart itself. And when that happens, these blood clots can dislodge from the heart, find its way through the circulation and causes blockage within the blood vessels in the brain. And when that happens, stroke can, can it is a result of, uh, of this problem. So the two major consequences of atrial fibrillation are heart failure and number two, strokes. So treatment is actually tailored towards preventing or reducing the chances of these two problems happening at the end of the day.